Our research project with the Harrington Discovery Institute is focused on preventing skin cancer, and specifically a type of skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma. This is a really common type of cancer. It affects two and a half million people per year in the United States. All of the currently approved treatments for skin cancer precursors cause pretty significant skin irritation. So you're red and scabby and irritated, and as a result, nobody likes using them and nobody completes the full course of treatment. Our approach is based on causing malignant and pre-malignant cells to differentiate. So I know the biggest roadblock uh, for my patients in using uh, uh, field therapy to treat their precancers is they don't like the way they look afterwards. We're focused on developing a topical treatment for when you've had your sun exposure and you even have skin cancer precursors to prevent you from getting the skin cancer itself. It has been really sobering to know, for example, that I can, you know, um, be a physician, be a scientist and have no idea how to design a compound, right, or how to modify a compound or um, what tests I should be performing in what order and when I need to be thinking about them. And I think what's great about Harrington Discovery Institute is that they have advisors who know exactly this and they can see the value in what we're proposing. In the lab, we can make a very interesting, potentially relevant clinical, uh, clinically relevant discovery, but yet um, left to our own devices, we might flounder off on a meaningless side quest and so what Harrington Discovery Institute has really done is it's um, helped us sort of navigate these otherwise what would otherwise be really challenging waters. So the first thing our advisors did was uh, introduce us to the idea of adding um, molecular modeling capabilities to our team. We're really grateful for the vote of confidence from the Harrington Discovery Institute. Um, it is a game changer to be singled out. It's wonderful to come here and be surrounded by so many physician scientists. Um, it, it's quite unlike anything I've ever <laughs> experienced and it's been really, it's been wonderful.